Hi, sweet friends. Welcome to Uniquely Vintage You. My name is Michelle, and my sister Cheryl and I welcome you or welcome you back to our channel. Today, we want to do some more decorating for Halloween, so I hope you'll join us and see what we do. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, and if this content blesses you in any way, I hope you'll consider subscribing to be a part of our YouTube family. We post new videos every Monday and Friday. So, to get started, I want to still decorate in my dining room and this is to the one corner in that room okay so i have this vintage cat and it says tongue twister on it that says make it snappy repeat to the person on your left and so around the room and so it goes around the room anyway i thought that was really cute i don't know where i got this at but i thought it was cute and it's old, so of course I love it. So I'm just gonna add that to the bottom of this tray. On the second layer, I'm gonna move this owl to the back, and then I'm just gonna add this carved boo sign. And I have several of these. I just really like them, so apparently I, I bought several, but I like using these in my home. And then I found the cutest little ceramic looking pumpkin, and I'm just gonna add that to the top of this candle and I got that from the Dollar Tree. Okay, I have one of these for Christmas, but when I saw this one in orange for Halloween, I just had to have it. It's a little candy container, and I'm just going to place that on the top of this tray. And I just love how I'm bringing in all that vintage, but I still haven't really changed much of my fall decor. The only other thing I did was add a bat garland to this old antique frame, and I got that at Walmart for, I think it was a little over a dollar. Okay, now I have a couple more of these paper mache lanterns, these little jack-o'-lanterns. These are the really, really small ones, and I'm just going to add it to these little trays. This one has those little pumpkins inside. I'm also going to add one of those votive candles that's on a timer, that flicker, so it will come on in the evening, and it just makes it look really pretty. So I've got one there, and then I've got one more with a different looking face but it is also an old vintage uh, jack-o'-lantern, and I'm just gonna add this to the other tray. To complete this look, I'm just gonna add a cloche to each one and I just love how that turned out. I also found this really cool candle. It's Vanilla Bean and Pumpkin by Better Homes and Garden. I found it at Walmart. It smells so good, and I'm just gonna add it to this little glass, um, little jar that I have, or, or a little container, and I've just added some berries around that. But that pretty much completes this look in this corner, and I just couldn't be happier with the way it turned out. Okay, moving over to my Hoosier cabinet, I have just added some old seam binding, some black velvet ribbon, and some old crepe paper into these little dishes. I like that extra element and that extra layer of texture. Moving over here, I have these old 
store price signs and I usually use them for photos but this time I just have paper inside and I've added the letters boo and I'm going to add each one of those I'm going to add one of those to each layer on these trays you can see the top one is filled with a pumpkin and it has some acorns and I just really like the way that turned out As you can see, I've just added some fall leaves and some more pumpkins that I got from the Dollar Tree. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is add the cutest pumpkin hand pies. And these are faux but they turned out so adorable. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you how easy these are to DIY. So make sure you stay to the end to see that. To this opposite end of this cabinet, I have just placed this ceramic pumpkin on top of this cutting board and I've taken some floral stems from Hobby Lobby and I'm just bending them and wrapping them around that pumpkin. I like that extra layer and that wispiness of that. I think it just adds such a fun layer to this cutting board. Now I have these cute little pumpkin dishes. They're not old, but I think the faces are so adorable. And I'm gonna add that to the top of this tray in this cabinet door. And I've got one more and I'm gonna add it to the other door. I believe you used to could hold like a cookbook right there, but I'm just gonna put this cute little pumpkin plate. And behind that, of course, I have layered just this green boxwood wreath. Okay, the next thing I have is another lantern. This one is just made out of really heavy paper. It's like a cardboard paper. The face insert is a real thin paper and you can see it's in really rough condition, but it's old, really, really old, but I thought he was super cute. I've had him for a long time and I'm just gonna add him to the top shelf of this Hoosier. I've also added in one of those little timer candles, a little votive candles, so he will light up in the evening and just look so adorable. Now I have one more old cat that I wanna show you right here. He's so, so cute. I love his little smile. And I'm gonna add him to the bottom. To the other side of this Hoosier, I've got just this cone that says Halloween on it. I've added this old orange uh, ribbon. I think it's for a flower show, but I just love that it was that bright orange. And just add another element to this cone. And inside this cone, I'm gonna fill it with some of the things that my daughter made. I've got this old bean bag filled with beans, an old feather. I've got a really cute spider that she made out of construction paper and a pipe cleaner. And then she made this pipe cleaner 
uh, spider ring and I I love having her little treasures it reminds me of such a sweet time so I always place those inside this cone but this completes the look over here on my Hoosier and I absolutely love it and I'm so happy with those little hand pies I made. I hope you guys will give that DIY a try. Okay, the last place I want to decorate is my dining room table. I found this adorable Joanna Parker little cup or this little dish and it was only $6.99 at Ross. So I'm gonna take that and place that on my table. And I also have this little tree. I've had it for a while. Um, but just to add some more of my old vintage decor to this tree, I've taken these little picks. I guess they were used for cupcakes and I've got several that I've collected. They're really old too, and I'm just gonna stick those inside this tree. I was just trying to think of a different way how I could display them, and I really like how this turned out. But look at these, aren't they so fun? Their faces are just so adorable, except for the witch. She, her face is a little scary, I don't know. This one doesn't really focus, but I'll show you in the end another picture and, and you'll be able to see the face. Okay, now let's just set this over here on my dining room table. And I don't wanna change up my decor here. I wanna, I like this fall decor and I wanna keep it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Halloween since I have so much over on my buffet. So I'm gonna set this here and, and kinda of to tie this in, I've added an orange pumpkin to the side and inside this basket, I've just added these orange, kind of a brighter orange, um, bittersweet little berries and I got those from Hobby Lobby and I just stuck four stems kind of all around just to bring in the bright orange of all the Halloween that I have. I think I'm just going to add one more orange pumpkin right here by this little container and that will complete the look of my dining room table. Okay, he's ready to make some DIY pumpkin hand pies. These are so cute, and all I did was get some air dry clay. I got some paint. This one I think is a little too dark. I really didn't use this one. I used this light mocha apple barrel paint that I got from Hobby Lobby. I got some glitter that kind of looks like sugar. We're gonna need some Mod Podge and some cinnamon. And then I just have a piece of felt and to make it look like it was baked, I just coffee stained it with coffee and sprinkled it with a little cinnamon just to make it smell good. I got these cookie cutters at Walmart and I wanted to use the biggest one I could find and that happened to be the biggest one that I could find. So I'm gonna take this clay in between some parchment paper and I'm just gonna roll it out. You don't want it to be too thin, but you don't want it to be super thick. And you're gonna have to cut out two of these to make this pie. Okay. 
Okay, so I couldn't find any kind of cookie cutter that was a face of a pumpkin. So I am just cutting it out my own and I'm just doing this with a, a knife. So I kind of made some of them different, but it was super easy. To make the inside of the pie, I've just turned this felt over on the back and then I'm just tracing inside of this pumpkin cookie cutter. And to that, I'm actually gonna cut it a little bit smaller than that because it's important that you have a edge all the way around because we're gonna take a fork, as you can see right here, we're gonna take a fork and go around all the edges to make it actually look like a pie. Now, you can let them dry completely and then paint them, which that's what I, I did except for this one, just to show you. I'm taking this one, I'm gonna paint it with um, this apple barrel paint. I'm gonna go over all of it. And um, then I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sprinkle it with some cinnamon. I think this is optional, you don't have to do this. You can actually just um, use a little Mod Podge. I, I kinda went a little too heavy with the cinnamon, but it just makes it look definitely like it's been cooked in places. It also makes them smell so good. So just brush on your um, Mod Podge, and then while that is still wet, you wanna go ahead and add some of this glitter. And this just kinda looks like sugar, so I'm just gonna sprinkle this all over. And that's pretty much it. I think they turned out so adorable. So I hope you guys will try this, and if you do, I hope you guys will let me know in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. We appreciate it so very much. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the vintage Halloween that I have and how I've displayed it in my home. Before I go, I want to leave you with this verse. It says, You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. I hope that this verse will bless you and it will remind you to trust the Lord in all situations. For God is in control. If we trust him and put our faith in him, he never fails. Guys, thank you so much for watching our videos. We appreciate each and every one of you so very much. And we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye, guys.